and create a new circuit. First click on create uh, circuit and then create a new circuit. And after that, uh, what are the components is required for the designing of a NAND gate? So in the search bar, write down the name of the components. So we have our first requirement is a breadboard. So write down here a breadboard in the search bar and drag and drop. So select the breadboard. And then the next component component that one is required is supply. So write down supply. So here I'm choosing our one power supply and supply voltage is uh, 5 volt. So just see, click on this power supply, see the voltage is 5 volt. Now here connect this negative terminal, negative terminal to here. Negative terminal is here and change its color is uh, black. So this is a negative terminal and then uh, positive terminal is red. So here now we're choosing the positive terminal here. That means the five volt is, that means uh, the five volt is supply a trolley. Trolley the supply the five volts. So that means throughout here the five volt and here the ground zero volt. And how many voltage? So just a click on the uh, power supply and see that the voltage. And what is the next component? Next component is uh, here you have verified the NAND gate. So what is Sir, the table of a NAND gate? So IC is the required. So IC seven, is uh, seven four double zero is NAND gate IC. So here the quad NAND gate IC just uh, drag and drop here, and then then the components that one is used for the output we have used here the one LED LED and and we can use a uh, uh, one resistor. It's maybe one kilo ohm or it may be a 500 ohm. Uh, ohm. So you can choose any one. So I'm choosing here the one kilo ohm resistors. And uh, for uh, input, for uh, input here we have used a slide switch. For A input using uh, this slide switch, this slide switch. For A input here I'm using uh, this slide switch. And uh, B input here I'm using uh, this slide switch. And everyone know the uh, slide switch operations. And and the next is uh, which pin is the plus VCC? So the IC the pin number fourteen is connected to uh, plus VCC, plus VCC. And uh, this slide switch suppose that the terminal one is high, so input is one, and this slide switch terminal one is high, so input is one. Now, uh, the pin number seven is the ground. So, in the IC, pin number seven is the ground. This uh, LED, this one is a cathode terminal. So, cathode is negative. So, grounded. And then, suppose that uh, this slide switch terminal two is grounded. That means the input is zero, and terminal two is input is zero. And now, this is a, a NAND gate. So so first we verify the which one is the input and which one is the output. So pin number one is the input. That's why this common is connected to pin number one. Pin number one is the input. Pin number one is the input. And pin number two is the input. Pin number two is the input pin. And the output pin is pin number, output pin is Pin number three. Three is the this is the one, two, three. So three is the output pin, and that one is connected to the uh, through a register connected to an anode terminal of a LED. So our circuit is completed, and now now we verify that uh, what is the output. So initially the switch is left shifted. So common is connected to terminal one, and terminal one is connected to high. So one is input similarly here the uh, switch is shifted to left that means the common is connected to left and left is terminal one is connected to high so b is also one one and then we now we start a simulation and check it so if the both the input a and b is one one output is led is off so output is zero otherwise if a is zero 
LED is on. If both is zero, still LED is on. And if A is one and B is zero, LED is on. So, so in this way, you can verify the two table of uh, NAND heat. So is that clear to all?